Okay, everyone, tracking pad again. And on this particular part, we're gonna show you uh, a little bit different uh, geometry and such. And uh, as I explained in some of the other ones, but it's true as far as every segment of this, uh, you'll be able to download the actual print so that you can follow along if you'd like to. This piece part itself is, um, is got a different kind of angle and a whole bunch of arcs in it. Okay, and I don't really think I need to program the whole part, but just so you can follow along, zero, zero is gonna be the center of this radius right here. And it's the outside portion that I'm mostly concerned with teaching you. Okay, so I'm gonna start right down here in this corner, and I've actually got that right here as my starting point, okay? So what I'm gonna do first is do a milling event, okay? The same kind of thing, my X is just ink set, it's not going anywhere. My Y dimension is missing already. So in this case, I'm gonna use guess, just touch the screen, enter my guess. And then it says, what else can you tell me about that line? And the only other thing I could tell it about the line, again, is the angle. But because both X dimensions are the same, I don't actually have to put it in there. So I'm going to swipe forward, go to the next arc. Okay, when I go to this arc, it says, is it tangent? And as you can see, as this arc moves through, it goes through the line, so it is not. So I'm going to say no. It's asking the direction of the arc. And again, it's not clockwise, but it's counterclockwise, so I can change it there. Uh, my X and Y end, which will be somewhere around here, are not on the print. So again, I'm going to go to guess, and I'm going to touch about where they're at, enter the guess. By now, you're seeing how valuable it is to be able to have the visuals and use the guess feature. So it's saying, where's the center of this arc? And the center is on the print, okay? So it's showing me the X center is minus 2.590. And it's showing me the Y dimension is 1.150. The last thing it needs to know about an arc is the radius of the actual arc, and it's showing it at a 0.66. Okay, so it's starting to draw the picture. I'm gonna swipe forward. And now it says, what's next? And the next is another arc. So I'm gonna go to this arc. It is not tangent. My direction is clockwise. And my X and Y end are unknown again. So I'm going to use the guess feature. I'm gonna say it's somewhere around there. Hit the enter. And then it says, where's the center of this arc? Well, the center of this arc is actually coming off of, if you notice here, it's showing a 2.59 radius coming from 0, 0. So put 0, 0 in there, 2.59 in there. You see it's starting to draw. I'm going to swipe forward. Now I've just got a milling event. Go to the milling event. It's not tangent either, but I have direct numbers on where it ends. So it ends at 2 inches in X and it ends at a Y dimension of 0.850. And at that point, you'll see where I'm at here. It wants to know one more thing. And the other thing that it's showing me is right here, you'll see there's an angle of this line. Now it's showing that angle is 20 degrees, but again, from my direction, it's actually would be a minus 20 degrees compared to zero, because zero would be here. But I've got to go all the way around. So that would make it 360 minus 20 or 340. So I'm going to come down to the line angle, put in the 340. You'll see I've got solid numbers. The next piece that I'm going to do is an arc. Got an arc event, it's not tangent. Direction is counterclockwise. I can also change that by just selecting two. My X ends at the number right here, 2.590, right? And my Y dimension ends at, uh, I don't know. So let's go back to guess, touch right about there, enter the guess value. And then it says, what else can you tell me about the center of this arc, right? The center of the arc, it shows is at 2.610. And it shows the Y dimension for the center at 0.980. Okay, and notice everything is all okay. I can swipe forward. I got one last piece, and it's just a straight down line. So it's not tangent to the other ones. The X is not going to change, and the Y is going to end up at a minus 560. The rest of the parts on here, you can do, they're all simple. All the dimensions are on there, so I don't have to follow that part. But again, as you follow along, I think you're gonna find each one of these as you do it, it's gonna become simpler, and you're gonna really understand the power of AGE. So I'll see you in the next video. Howdy y'all, it's Tracking Pat from Track Machine Tools here with my lovely wife, Wanda. Both wanting to thank you for watching all of our videos. As always, we really like it when you give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, just push this button right here. If you'd like to watch the next video in the queue, of course, hit the one over here. Before we take off to go to the Honky Tonk, we just want to remind you as always to keep, keep on tracking. Yeehaw!